What's up, YouTubers? Get ready to try out the new Marshall 2.1 texture hopper. Let's give her a whirl. Pretty nice. You can see it's pretty good. Works great. I'm looking for kind of like a light texture like that. So. Kind of what you see in your average motel. possibly for a job the day on end. You gotta say action, bro. I've told you this. Yes. Start it back over. All right, guys. You couldn't really see because I couldn't have my filmer um, video this while I was in here because the bathroom, as you can see, is small. This is my own personal bathroom. I'm just trying to clean it up. And as you can see, I put new floor in. I'm gonna spray this shower later. I got a brand new vanity to put in. And I'll fill you guys in later and add another video when the painting's all done. But this used to have a closet right here and you can only open the door like so far. I know I should have covered the whole door off. But honestly, I'm pulling all these things off. I'm going to be spraying them all white with my sprayer. And I'll maybe put that in the video later. But here's a review. The best thing about this stuff is it hides a lot of flaws in these old houses. It's kind of what you see in motels and stuff so the main thing you want to do is a nice clean edge like that masking is everything in this in the Marshall Sharpshooter 2.1. This thing worked out great, guys. I was I was very pleased. Um, it done everything it said it was gonna do. And I'm gonna be honest, guys, it's got an adjustable tip to where you could go to all different kinds of textures. You could shoot it on. I kinda went with the real thin and then shot a little bit heavier back on the walls. And I was very pleased with what it done in the in the timely manner it done it. Um, I'm gonna say cleanup was very easy. I would really recommend this gun over the Harbor Freight gun, just for the fact of the settings, how easy. Plus, it also comes with this piece here. And this, so when you're doing ceilings, this will actually go at an angle. So you can shoot up at an angle, guys. So I'm very pleased with it. I give it the thumbs up. Like and subscribe, guys. And stay tuned to more. So this is how the texture came out. And it looks great. Obviously, you can see that yourself. I went ahead and primed it. I'm going to give a shout out to these guys right here at Sherwin-Williams because they, they do a lot for me there. 
at the Greensburg store in Indiana here. You can her kind of some of the product I'm using. It works excellent. I, I recommend using this stuff or builder's craft, one or the other. You can have it tinted. And I always, I always have this stuff tinted a little bit off-white or something for anything I'm doing. As you can see, I'm getting ready to put a semi-gloss or a satin finish or eggshell. Anything that has a sheen that will repel water is recommended in the bathroom, guys. So really keep that in mind. You don't want flat ceilings in your bathroom because that's why you get the mold spots. If you see that little bit of line, that's where I started painting. I'm actually going with an eggshell myself personally because it's a low sheen and then I'll do satin on my walls. And once again, I'm using Emerald products by Sherwin-Williams and I'll show you guys that in part two on that video. Hope you enjoy and I hope you like.